Hello everyone, welcome back for more Subnautica Below Zero and I am pumped for this episode. It's gonna be a good one, I'm sure. You guys have given me some fantastic tips, advice, some suggestions on where I could find some of the things that I was looking for. We got the new bullet train extensions, I'm excited to check that out and I got several hours that I get to play this today so you know I'm probably doing more than one episode. Do me a huge favor if you wouldn't mind and smack that like button. Let's dive right in. Here we are everybody. We're back, oh, we're back, and I get to play more Subnautica. It's been, oh man. So I got a long ways ahead, as you guys know, typically happens, and, oh, that looks good. And you guys gave me some awesome tips on how to find some of the things I was looking for. In fact, one of the things came up more than once was the map. I need to take another look at that map. I forgot I've got a map on this one. I can figure out where it was at. Here we go, maps, okay. I mean, this shows me where the main facilities are. And I did have some people tell me I really should probably get out here and do some more exploring of these places. I think, though, I have figured... Oh, we got, like, some little yellow spots here. I see those up here. Those must be structures. But you guys gave me some awesome stuff. I think you guys dropped me some tips on where I can find the flower clippings that I'm looking for. Uh, also the shipwreck, apparently I found the right shipwreck and what I was looking for with that vertical piece, I was, I, I, apparently that's not what I need to be looking for. So I think we're going to have some success getting both the parallel thing and with the big air tank I've got on now, I think we might be able to get that little body piece that we were looking for. So we're going to start out trying to get both of those done just because <laughs> I put so much effort into trying to get them done before. And then we might go up and do some more exploring on the surface level and it looks like I've got something here oh yeah this thing looked so cool I was glad I found an image that I could use as my thumbnail I was like this looks so beautiful I each time I see grand cotton I think cotton candy it's kind of got a cotton candy vibe to it and the way it was kind of like real f soft and fluffy I really like that. One of the largest multicellular organisms in the sector 4546b. The Grand Cotton Anemon is hard to miss. This species propagates by emitting a steady flow of spermatosa? I was swimming in spermatosa? <laughs> I don't know about that. Reminiscent of flower pollen, yeah, that are forced out its openings as a result of gas exchange. Periodically, a large egg is expelled. Once fertilized, the egg develops into a planula larva which drifts through the local environment before establishing itself on the ocean floor. That must be like those orange things I was grabbing. Collect eggs for use in advanced fabrication. Oh man, I'm so excited to play today. So I've got like all day. I say all day. I'm usually good for about, uh, I'm usually good for about four hours of gameplay before my voice just starts to get out on me. So then I'm like, eh, time to go. Okay, so before we blast off though, I want to make sure I got me some beacons because those things are very valuable. In fact, I had one person tell me I almost made them rage quit YouTube <laughs> because they're like, why did you just put a beacon down where the exit's at? And then they finished the episode and was very happy to see, oh, he did eventually think of that. It took me a minute, but I got there. So I want to make sure I got some beacons. Uh, also, I had several of you guys mention a great idea. Uh, one person said they keep... so getting ahead of myself again you guys have left me a lot of comments since you know I, I last played they said they put one extra storage unit module on here because i found out you can have more than four I, I i had one person say they don't think there is a limit you just get slower the more pieces you have on here but they said they'll put an extra uh, storage module and they'll only have a scanner base set up so that they can set that up and then explore the area and then they tear it all back down and put it back in that same c module also found out there are more attachments that I can get. I was super excited to hear that. I don't even know what they are, and I'm excited to see see what they are. Um, I think I found the scanner. Yeah, I do have this. So I'm very tempted to put together a setup where we can take one of those with us. Because I don't have a scanner set up yet. I, I don't even have one set up on this spot that could maybe be handy uh and also the scanner room upgrades magnetite i don't think i found magnetite yet have i hmm oh man finding myself getting distracted already okay let's at least get let's get one of these on here 
Oh, someone gave me a tip. I'm gonna try it out here real quick. If I grab this, ah, <laughs> if you didn't know about that, uh, instead of trying to unpin, like if you got a whole bunch of these things spread out here and you're like, I just need to take this one off. Instead of scrolling through this whole list, trying to find it, you can grab it and just drag it over here and it unpins it. Thank you for that. That was awesome. Which I'll do right there. Okay. Um, so we got the scanner. Uh, I want to make sure I got beacons on here because I don't want to forget to make some more beacons. Here we go. We'll pin that. Um, I'm going to need a power source. What did it take to make this bioreactor? I think we're going to make one of those too. And then I'll need a hatch to get into it because I, I don't think I need... I think I can stick a hatch right on the scanner room if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're going to grab all this. We'll have the hatch to get into the room. A bioreactor to power... Oh, wait. No, we can't power... I need access to the center of this room. So I will need a multi-purpose room or, or something to attach to that as well. I think my uh, module is actually sucking up fish while it's parked. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so if we have this hatch, room, bioreactor, scanner. I won't have the upgrades yet. But at least that'll get me a starter scanner set up. So let's get all that. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how excited I am to get to play today. I'm recording for sure at least two episodes, possibly three. And I don't know if I'm feeling super spunky, maybe four. We'll see. I might be getting greedy at that point. This thing is so cool looking. It looks like a fancy copier though, doesn't it? When it actually kind of does the opposite of copy, it takes apart. Okay, let's turn on some tunes here real fast. Even if it does have this disturbing one. Hopefully, maybe when I'm exploring that second shipwreck, the one that actually apparently has the piece that I need, uh, <laughs> another shipwreck, maybe I'll find another disc in there. That would be super cool if I did. All right, so I want to bring a couple more flares. When they, I think I've got a couple flares in there already, but just to be safe, alien tech, I don't need anything out of that yet. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, at least six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need sixteen tight. Oh no, wait a minute. Part of that's just for. Let's go ahead and make those before I forget. Uh, I need copper. That's when you know it's been a been a bit. I'm looking around like, uh, where's my copper? Where's my copper? And titanium. Let's go ahead and make a couple beacons. Nice thing is I can make these on the fly now. Since I got a fabricator with my my ship, if I need to. But I want to make sure I have a couple on me. It looks so cool. I had somebody suggest too, you should really try building a base in this one on the surface. Because it's actually really cool. I don't know if I'll get to that this episode. But I'm definitely thinking that might be something I, I try to do. Now watch this. Well, bam That's noise. That just comes right off there. Okay, so we're going to need... Let's grab the quartz. My goal is to put only those things into some storage unit. So that I know I, I've got... If I pull all that out, I can just build it. In fact, I should probably just make the wiring kit already assembled. I hope I got enough silver. I don't remember if I got more silver yet or not. Oh! <laughs> just enough. Okay, so we'll go ahead and craft the wiring kit. There's that lubricant. Uh, I don't know if I have any. I might have to slice up to get some lubricant. If I had any, it'd be over here. No. Lubricant, I think, is the clusters. Okay, let's go grab a couple of those. Those I have right here. Oh, check it out. I got mushrooms and my plants growing. Antenna fruit. Pick. Oh, can I eat that? Yo, check that out. Oh, I didn't realize there was like just a food I could eat off of that. I thought it was a, more of a decorative. That's super cool. I'm, I'm glad I brought some back to plant. All right, let's grab. We'll just grab two. You know, I gotta say, I feel like this is a nice little humble base. It's not too big, extravagant. It's got everything I need. A couple things that I just want. And, uh, 
And it, it's a good starter base, you know? I don't know if I get to the point where I, I build some massive thing later. I might. But uh, I like my little base I got going on here. It's fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and make... It, let's turn... Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Uh, I need to check to see how many first aid kits I got. Did I make a couple of those last time I was in here? For some reason, I was thinking I did. Um, where was that first aid? Here we go. That's the fiber mesh. Okay, that's that's the other one. I think I did make a couple of those. So we'll go ahead and turn both of these into that. I'll probably leave the extra one here. And let's make a couple bottles of water. Because I can tell it's going to need it. Okay. We got that. Uh, I'll put the extra... The extra lube. I'm going to stick that in there. Okay, so we can take this off. And take this off. Alright, so now I need... Uh, a quartz. Let's see, do I got a gold? I know it's low on gold. I got one left. Nice. Got my gold. I need a coral. I need two more copper, which I think I, I saw I had plenty of those for that. Got the quartz. So now I need 9, 10, 15 titanium. I don't think I can carry... Well, maybe. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... I did grab 15, right? I feel like that last click didn't click. <laughs> I don't want to be one short. So I got 6, 10, 15. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. I want to see if maybe one of these um, storage units I got on here already might be able to hold all that. That would be cool if it could. How many spaces does... Yeah, what's this have? Ooh, that tiny. No. I think it's going to have to go inside of one of these. Let's see. Okay, that's the titanium. If I stick... Uh, I'll stick both of those in there. And that in there. Okay. And then I guess I'll just have to stick these up here. And I'll, I'll even label this scanner. So hopefully I remember not to touch it. Scanner 2. There we are. So I can use these sides, which I think... Oh! Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave those in there. I might need those for constructing a, a locker or something. A nice little start. Now, what aid do I got? Make sure I got... I got two first aids. I really wish I had another one of those. A couple of those, actually. Uh, okay, I want to stick a couple flares in there. I'll keep both the beacons on me for the moment. Okay, so let's make some more first aids, which I, I should be able to whip together real quick just from outside here. Uh, so I need to get, I don't think I have any in here, do I? No. Okay, so we can unpin all those there. I need this, two creep binds to make the fiber mesh. And it's just one fiber mesh to make those, okay. Let's see if we can make... It'd be nice if I could make two or three of those. It really would. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got them all. I know they're big, so I didn't know if I actually had enough room to uh, store all those or not. But I did. Oh yeah, baby. We're just about to blast off. This is going to be a very, very productive episode. I can just feel it. Can you feel it? I can feel it. You guys have been fantastic. Also had a couple of you guys give me some uh, thank you tips on a couple of the previous Subnautica videos. Thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate that. Uh, I by no means expect it, but it's, it's a blessing when it shows up. It makes my day. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I made the, the mesh, and then I forgot to make them first aids. You know, this actually got me wondering. If I use the fabricator on the truck, 
That's got to pull energy from the truck, isn't it? I don't have any way of, like, recharging that truck outside of um, being in here yet. That's something to be mindful of. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that that battery. Might be something where I need to bring the equipment needed to build another one of these shafts along with my little scanner base. Yeah. Yo, check it out. Oh, man. Beeper, how'd you get caught? I thought you were too slick for this. <laughs> nope. That's awesome. Well, now I'll be able to just kind of like, I feel like, oh, you know what? I can put those in the bioreactor too. That'll be helpful for that. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna stick two of those just so I got the extra space. And I think we're set. Got an extra battery, got beacons. I got all that stuff. I think we're set. Oh my goodness, here we go. Okay, so what first? Um, oh, I know what I wanna do first. I wanna go to the shipwreck. This one right here, another wreck. This is the one I wanna go to first because I think I'm gonna find some good helpful stuff in there. And then the, what were they called? The vent garden, like the big jellyfish. I got my little notes over here of things I wanna make sure I don't forget. Uh, the big jellyfish type things. Uh, some of you guys have told me that to check around those things to maybe find the flower clipping that I'm needing. So, I think that was kind of in the same general area. Here we go. Yo, check out my... Oh, man, I beat it all up. I have beat up my thing. Okay, so that's the direction I want to go. Let's get out. Oh, can I uh, look down? Yay, hopped right out. Okay, let's patch up the ones I've busted up first. No use in taking off with a broken ship. Uh, nope, not the laser cutter. I don't need to be trying to cut these things. That's part of the problem already. They're already damaged. 68%. I messed that thing up good trying to get it connected. I ran it in all kinds of stuff. I think I... I, I kind of like the, uh, oh, it does repair the whole thing. Okay, I was like, I, I wonder if repairing the one repairs it all. I'm glad it does that. Oh, no, it didn't. Nope, it's the second one that is also boogered up, apparently. I thought that was the one I was actually repairing. You? No? No. Well, I don't know what's going on there. I'm sure it's a user error in some fashion. Oh, here we go. I guess you had to be shooting the glass. You got, you got to use the the repair tool on the glass. Too bad it didn't show it like cracked and stuff. Maybe it does if it has enough damage on it. Okay, we are off at a super high speed. Check that out. <laughs> oh man, I'm pumped for this. Uh, I am a little nervous because my care, my thing is definitely moving a lot slower. What's it take to make the, uh, the booster? Oh, I can't yet. I haven't found all the upgrade for the horsepower. I did have some people tell me that that is a way to make it move faster. So, hopefully we find the other half of that blueprint soon because, I mean, this is cool. I really am like driving a train underwater right now, but it is slow. Oh, I can take you up. There we are. Uh, ooh, you know what? This is the time too to see if uh, we can activate our music. Will this work now? Oh. Turn it down kind of low. I think, I think 11% is what I was having it over there. Where are the speakers? Is that what these, uh, is that a speaker? I want to make sure it's not too loud. That seems a little loud to me because we don't, we don't have as much space between us and the speakers in this thing. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. I did find out I will destroy you. You know how I was talking about how I feel like that is Alan? 
and it was kind of disturbing and everything, I had somebody let me know that the original plan for this below zero was actually that Alan, uh, he does still end up inside Robin's mind, but he's more like, um, I don't know if anti-humanity is the right word, but he has no humanity. And his original plan was to kill Robin when she discovers him inside of that that place. And uh, so what she does is she actually downloads him into her brain so that now if she dies, he dies. So then he lets her escape and they he slowly develops a understanding of humanity throughout the course of the game. So it's got more of a darker feel at the beginning as you, you see the character development. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so fascinating. And that line of uh, die peacefully or whatever it was, uh, that's like one of the lines that he uses when talking to Robin uh, about, you know, just die peacefully in here, like starve to death, basically. That was so cool to learn. You know, sometimes these playthroughs, what makes them even more fascinating to me is learning all the little things like that, that, you know, there's no way I can go out and research all these different games that I play, but I love learning about all this stuff. And you guys are always so awesome about sharing insights like that, discovered like things that were changed during the development process and stuff. Super, super cool. So thanks again for sharing that with me. And the, for those of you who didn't know about that, I thought it would be cool to share that with you. Okay, well, we're making our progress. Man, this thing moves this slow with four attachments. I wonder what it's like when I if I get more on there. Oh, but we're going to set up a scanner base. It's going to be super cool. Now, I'm assuming... Oh, there's one of those little electronic dudes over there. I'm assuming that uh, if I use the little zappy thing, the self-defense, it works on the entire train. So if something like comes at one of the back segments, and I zap, they'll feel it back there too. Oh, cool. It showed me like what song's about to play over there. That's awesome. Oh, this is neat. This song has such a quieter start. It takes a while to get there. Yo, check out all these guys. There are a bunch of them. You're going to ask for it. You want me to do it, don't you? You're thinking about biting my train. I can see you thinking about it. Okay, my plan is before I even check out the shipwreck, I'm gonna go ahead and set the base up. Get that thing going. It would be neat to kind of see what the terrain looks like here. Not to mention with all these floaty pieces, it might give me a better idea of um, what else might be floating in the area. But since I don't have the range modules on this, I am going to try to get down as low as I can before I set it up. I hear it. Oh. Oh, he even peed me. All right, dude. How do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Back up, chump. He bit me, though. I'll repair that once I get out. But yeah, since I, I don't have the range modules, I want to kind of get down deep so I can see how far down the floor goes and that sort of thing with the scanner base. Man, there's a lot of these electrical deals right here. Those aren't going to be fun. Let's see if we park up behind this thing. Maybe they're less likely to bug me. I doubt it. They sound like they're in the mood for a fight. Okay. Here we are. At least this thing I don't have to worry about, like, turning it off or anything. I do wish I could kind of, like, set up an auto-defense. To where if something came by, it would just, like, auto-zap. <laughs> I'd probably burn through my power really fast that way, though. Okay. Let's drink you. Um. Okay. Let's grab all our scanner stuff. I think I can carry... Oh. I think I can carry all this in one go. That'd give me a little bit of shelter from everything out there, too. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, now I want to pin each of the items that I'm. I guess I don't need to pin them. I think I remember what it all I, I'm needing to build. Okay, we got our. Here we are. Yeah, dude. Uh. Ooh, those are cool looking. How about right here? Something out a little bit. I'm a little bit deeper than my ship, but that's okay. Let's try this. Okay, where's my multi-purpose room first? There we are. This is really cool. Officially building base number two. Now granted, this isn't meant to be a permanent structure, so I don't know if that really counts as a base number two, but uh, we're gonna try for it. I wanna connect it on this side if possible. Scanner base. Turn, turn. There we are. Yo, this is so cool. Just whipping this together real fast. Now, assuming I brought everything with me. A scanner room will allow you to survey the surrounding region for fragments. I should have what I need still. resources like lithium or copper or titanium if you need help finding it. <laughs> For whatever reason. I am picking up the signature of an important item belonging to my people. Oh, another one. Share its location. Okay. Thank you. Look at that. Signal I just location uploaded it all to together. PDA. That's fantastic. And I'm definitely feeling the improvement already on the amount of um, oxygen I have. All right, now let's grab some fishies to put in the bioreactor. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with you guys. I'm gonna leave the bottle fish because uh, obviously they serve another purpose. That should be plenty to get me going. Yo, this is so cool. I'm excited. I want to see more of this area. I feel like I got a better grasp of how things are going to be moving forward now. I, I feel like I've got enough stuff. Emergency power only. I've got Oxygen enough stuff in place. Offline. I got enough stuff in place. Power restored. You know, I got a, a good base. Systems online. We've heard stop talking. So I got a base. I got a good system in place. I've got uh, a better oxygen tank, a better truck. I think I, I think I've got things in place now to where uh, it's gonna be moving a lot smoother for me. Oh, that actually popped up here pretty quick. All right, what do we got here? Fragments, metal salvage. Oh, I wonder if this works kind of like the other one where it will only, it'll only reveal information for areas that I've covered. Because remember, I haven't been down deep yet. I only swam down to this point. And I know in first Subnautica, if you turn on the the scanner, but you hadn't swam out through the area, it won't try to find the stuff in that area until you've kind of swam past it. Wow, there is not a whole lot to see there, is there? That's okay, though. It's up and going. And uh, we'll come back and do some more of that here in a minute. I'm ready to explore this ship. Project number one is done. Not over, but it's constructed. Let's go ahead and grab some some goodies, since I know I'm going to need them here at some point. Dude, you coming this way? We got little thing that likes to eat stuff and big thing that likes to eat stuff. You gonna come here and zap me? Okay, looks like it's eating me one. Thank you! <laughs> He's like, yeah, step away. We'll see if I leave you alone. Alright, let's go back here to the fabricator. Super handy dandy. This is so cool. It's like I got my own portable base now. It's almost like I'm living in a, a submarine. You know, it's like I gotta be mindful of my space and I can't just have as much stuff as I want in here. I have to kind of think about it. Plan it, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's for scanner stuff. We will stick the titanium I found in here. Mmm. You know what? I don't need the beacons on me at the moment since I'm about to go in the ship, so we'll stick those in here. 
we'll wait till I head off to go explore something else before uh, grabbing those puppies back out. Oh, here's the disconnection module. Someone told me there's like an emergency disconnect if you suddenly needed to get away quickly. Appreciate that. Oh, and let's save. Time to see if we can find our way into the ship. Now, I think some people told me I kept getting distracted. I was going up and over each time I I was I, I wasn't finding the entrance because I, I kept looking in the wrong spot. Basically, there is an entrance to this thing. I just have to find it. They almost made it sound like you could go under. But it looked like it was kind of like on the ground. We'll find out. What we got here? Oh, we got something we can scan. Thank you. I'll take the titanium because I'm going to need it. Copper. Oh, yeah. Definitely need some copper, too. All right. Let's see if we can get in. I don't see anything right to here. So let's go up this middle section here. Maybe there's a, a door or something I didn't see. What we got here? Oh, it's crap. Okay, I'll grab it. I might drop it later if I run out of room, but... Let's go. No, no entrance there. Or there. Mm hmm. Okay, let's check along this side over here. I don't know. If, did I check this side yet? I thought I had originally kind of gone down this side. It's kind of busted right here. Let's make sure there's no entrance here before I continue that direction. Turn my flashlight back on. Oh, okay, that's literally just torn up. Okay. Oh, I see a bottle fish. I found out too. I can straight up eat one of these raw for... Oh, I thought I was able to eat these raw for 10 oxygen. It says negative H2O. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so it does take away some water, but it does give me the oxygen. Okay, I see how that works now. Thank you for that tip. Appreciate it. You guys are the best. You guys gave me so many tips. There it is. That's our entrance. And didn't drop any spoilers. I was so impressed. Thank you. I am, uh... Oh, look, we needed one more prawn suit, didn't we? Oh, I can't scan this one? I can't scan that one? Oh, I need one more scan of a prawn suit. Okay, let's just take a quick look. That's a prawn suit. Oh, wait a minute. I've been in here once before. Oh, but I don't think I had a laser cut or anything. Yep, I need to open that. Okay, here we go. I was about to swim back for a breath of air. But, since we got that, we'll stay a wee bit longer. That's kind of cool they have these. I'm glad they don't take a long time to cut into. But we cutting into them. I don't know, is it safe to be using those with nuclear thermal rods on the inside? Yo, you're pretty. Okay, that was one I apparently had gotten into. Okay, let's go back and get a fresh breath of air. Because what I need has got to be in here somewhere. I got to cut something. I think I got to cut into something to get that last parallel blueprint. So... I could drive the truck over here so it's a little closer. I didn't realize I was further down that way than I realized. Man, that extra oxygen is nice. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. You know, I'd chew her out for getting on my case about that, but I mean, I did just die a whole bunch in the previous episode, so I'll let her be nervous about it here for a little bit. And then I'll be like, all right, Gladys, time to back off. All right, we'll stick those in there. Yeah, I got, wow, got a bunch of those now. Stick that in there. Okay, we looking good. And I did, yeah, so let's hop back out. I'm just gonna leave the truck there. I feel like it's in a safe spot where they're not really bugging it. I like that. I don't want them taking bites out of it every time I swim away. 
Oh, this is so cool. I found the entrance to this. Now, we are looking for something that can be cut. Got my... Oh. Ooh. Going down. Pick up the salvage. Yeah, it cleans the room up a little bit. Oh, we got we got a direction over here. Okay, I can swim through that. Oh man, I really hope I don't get myself lost. If I die in here, oh yes. Mercury 2 PDA, oh man, maybe they'll tell us what happened. That would be cool. Can I cut this? No. But if I die down here, because I can't find the exit right after dropping off those beacons, I'm gonna get a lecture. I know I'm gonna get a lecture. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Oh. What is that? Reinforced dive suit fragment. Okay. Another PDA. I'm very happy to see that. Oh my goodness, there's so much of this I hadn't even seen. You know what? We're going to grab these. Just to clean the room up. I'm trying to be mindful of anything that can be cut. Okay, while we're close, let's come back here and grab this air now. Because if I wait too long, I might need this to be restored. <laughs> For when I try to get back out of here. I'm cutting it close. Alright. Okay, we checked through that room. Oh my goodness, this place is huge. Oh my goodness, it's still going down. Oh, don't get lost, don't get lost. Is that a surface that can be... I don't remember what the, the thing looked like that I was able to cut. Oh, something said scannable. There was something. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, look at that. I think that's a water filtration. That would be nice to start getting that. Ooh, it's a long scan. Mm, I wonder if I should be heading back for some air. Are there some more air plants? I only know of the one so far. Okay, there's one. That is a good find. Thank you. Got more batteries. Oh man, I'm totally lost. Here it is. That's what I needed. At least now if I die, I think I get to keep the blueprint. Now I just need to build the test override module. Oh. And I can disable that satellite tower. This is so big. And it goes down even further. Oh. I gotta try to work my way back out. I just got to, but I still wanna, I, oh, oh, this is so terrible. Food and water, appreciate it. More food and water, I like that too. More food and water, I'm excited to hear what those PDA said. Okay, uh, okay, this is bad. I don't remember, I think it was this way. Yeah, that's the room I cleared out, okay. I think we're good, auction plant back. Where yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was seriously nervous about that there for a second. I should be good. Let's get in here. Let's read those PDAs. Let's, uh, let's grab these. I might add more to that scanner base since I've found so much titanium. And we made it. Yes! Success! Okay. Let's go to this first. Break down all the... Break all the salvage down. I am curious to see if this uses a bunch of power on this thing, though. I'm not seeing a power meter pop up. I mean, surely it's being powered by this. I don't see how that wouldn't be a thing. Okay. Um... This right here, synthetic fibers, that's gonna be next on our list. We're gonna try to find the flower clippings. Okay, because I'm gonna need that for that. Uh, let's see, what else did we get here? Here we are. Hey, gold, silver, and I gotta find some gold. But outside of that, we're good. Perimeter defense, boy, he's loud. Prawn suit upgrades. I thought I was still missing one prawn suit 
Like, I don't think I have the blueprint finished on that yet. Did I fit? No. Yeah, I still need one more. Okay. Good to know. Let's transfer all this stuff into said lockers. Or lock lockria. Lockeria. Okay. Um we got some food and water. That's nice. Oh, there we go. Let's get these in here. Actually, I should probably Let's pull the beacon uh, beacons out. Stick two of those in there. Let's drink you. Eat you. I don't want to put anything in those. But space is definitely feeling limited already. That's for sure. All right, we'll stick those in here. Those in there. Oh, man. I am so excited that we found those. All right, let's check out the... Um, here we go. Mercury logs. I hope these things aren't going to be an issue. All right, here we go. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. Ah. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Orion's belt. It looked like the northern lights. Orion's belt. Such I like power. It. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Eh, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Oh, no. So they made it to the planet without getting shot down. They got shot down when they tried to leave. Because that was going to be my first question. I was like, well, if they didn't get hit, how'd they end up crashing here because of it? Oh, I almost feel bad for her. She was so, she was so impressed by the fact she pulled that off. Okay, Elliot, what'd you got? We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> It was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. Oh no. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by something they died screaming alone in the cold dark waters I, Aww. I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again I refuse some of the animals on this planet they look sick too weird pustules on the skin oddly sluggish I think we should leave but Diana said we should stay she thinks the bio patent payoffs will be worth it but those families will never see their loved ones again Aww. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Oh my goodness. Wow, they had some really good voice actors. That felt so real. Both of them. I felt bad for them. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, Maybe I can find some kind of memento to take back with me on their behalf. That would be nice. Let's get rid of these here. Okay, data bank. What we got? 
tech, equipment. I feel like this reinforcement suit we've seen before. Is this the one that shock absorbs reduced physical impact velocity by approximately 50% rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees? Okay, I feel like we've had that one before, but it looks like it's worded a little different. This I know we found before, and that's super cool. I'm tempted to go put this down in our little makeshift base we just built down there, just so I got regular water coming in now. Okay, so we got another, this one right here, Z13. I think that's the new one. Body cache we still need to get to. Q59. I think that's the one that I can't seem to find very well. You guys did tell me, though, the scanner base might help with that because it shows tunnel routes and stuff. So we may give that a shot over there at some point as well. What are these two dropped beacon symbols? I've... They don't have the name on it. Did I... Did I put two beacons down and not name them? Okay, well, that's a little confusing. Dropped beacon... Dropped beacon. Hmm. I'm a little confused by that. I, I don't know if that's something that I put down or if we just detected those. I don't know. We'll find out, though. Okay, I definitely want to get in there and see about exploring some more of that base. I, I have not gotten all of it. I'm actually really nervous about how much there is in there. I wish my little sea moth thing could drive a little faster. <laughs> or not sea moth, but my sea glider. This. Hmm. I'm tempted. Let's see how much time we got left. We got, we're, we're about 45 minutes in this episode. Um, let's spend some more time on this, this ship. See if we can find some more stuff in there. And then, um... I need to find a gold. You know what? Let's see if we can find a gold real quick. There's got to be... Let's get my little detector out here. There's got to be some gold in the area. Well, I thought about going down the scanner, but if this will be sufficient because it's nearby... Oh, dude! You jerk. I didn't even hear him coming. Come here. Where you at? Come here. Give you something to bite. Oh. Not a fan of how aggressive some of the stuff is in here. In in this game. There's so much aggressive stuff. I didn't like that in Subnautica either. I'm like, I'm not supposed to kill anything, but man, they really make me want to sometimes. Okay, we'll eat that. And we should probably drink another water. Where's my shot right past it? Let's grab one of the small ones. There we go. Sounds like it's back. I do like my little windows right here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bring this up and I need to find Gold. Which one has chance of gold? Silver. There we go. Let's see if we can find one of these out here. If we can, we might go ahead and make that just to see what Robin says. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if she says something after we get it crafted. Okay. It's not picking up. Uh, let's see. We're looking for... Calvarite outcrop. This will be able to tell us for sure if there's any nearby. Uh, nope, I am not seeing it in the list. Okay, well, let's head back to exploring that ship then. And I think what we're going to do is on the next episode is we're going to try to find those plant clippings. Because I think the jellyfish area is not too far from here but what we're gonna do let's detach and let's drive this closer to that exit 
Because right now I have to swim like 15 seconds outside of the spaceship just to reach this thing. Whereas if this was closer, that wouldn't be as much of a big deal. Boink. Sorry, fish. Oh, I wish I had the prawn suit. Prawn suit I could probably go through here and I wouldn't have to worry about air as much. Ooh, get a little closer. There we are. Okay, here we go. We're on exploring, exploring mode, big time. Ooh, let's see what's up here. Oh, we got a door we can cut. Maybe we can find ourselves another log. That would be cool. It's really awesome getting to hear kind of what happened to the ship. Even if it's sad, it's kind of nice to know at least what happened. Oh, I feel bad that they didn't make it off. They made it down and didn't make it off. You know, it makes me wonder, are we maybe going to find another one of those big structures? Because there had to be more of those other than the one that shot us down in the first one. Because there's no way they would reach other sides of the planet unless they had, you know, things on other sides of the planet. So I wonder if we'll find one of those buildings at some point. Oh. What is this? <gasps> yes, I was hoping we would find this. I want to, I got a ton of those eggs. I want to start hatching stuff. That's nice to see. Hey, we got another one. Trusting my instincts. Oh, it's another one from the captain. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This has been a fantastic episode. I'm so excited. I feel like we're finally getting some story plot moving forward. I don't feel like it needed to happen every time, but it's been it's been a few episodes since we really kind of got some story progression. I mean, if I, if I had to guess, aside from finding a, a couple of those little alien structures, um, running into Margaret down there in her base was kind of like the last thing that really felt like a story progression piece. More oxygen plants by any chance? Could really go for another one. Ooh, there's another entrance. That's nice to see. I probably just found another path into here. Oh, I see another. Oh my goodness, this is great. Cut it. Another thermal rod. What's this? Nuclear reactor fragment. Well, I've got like four nuclear rods now. I should probably like power that bad boy right up. Um, anything else in this room before I leave? I've got to start heading back. Okay. Before I get too lost, I think I cut through. There it is. This thing is just enormous. Oh, I think I came from up here. Oh, let's grab this. Did I come from up here? No, I didn't come from up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's another door we can cut. Yeah. I'm going to cut this door open instead of try to find my way out of here, because that's a smart idea. No, it's not a smart idea. I think I got the beacon on me, though. I'm going to drop it right here. So I know to go through here. Unless there's a flower plant on the other side of this. Let's see. Drop. Okay. That's my sign to uh, go that way. Okay, that's the door I just cut open. That's the door I just came through. Aha. Here we go. I think this is it. Oh, baby. Nope. That one, oh, I'm in trouble, guys. Where's the oxygen plant? Should be back here soon, right? Okay. I'm starting to panic a little bit. Let's go out this way. Maybe. Oh, there might have been something on the ground right there. I can't tell. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know, I know. Uh, the one time driving the truck away actually is probably not a bad, or not a good idea. Uh, someone told me 
I can use this air bladder for 15 seconds of air. Oxygen. How do I F to replenish oxygen? Oh, well that went quick. No. No, I'm gonna die. Oxygen. Oh no, here we go. I can't believe how close that was. I got totally lost. Do they still have, remember in the first one, for going through caves and stuff, they had that thing where you could shoot out and it would make like the little arrows, leave a little beacon so you could like backtrack your way out. Do they have that in this one? Because part of me is like really wishing <laughs> I had that. Oh. That was so close. Makes me scared to go in there again. But, no guts, no glory, baby. That's how we gotta do it. These PDAs aren't gonna find themselves. Okay, that's where I got lost. Uh, I got through here. Cut through this door. Oh, there's oxygen. All right, this is the beacon I just dropped down. I like that. I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, that one's empty. I got. Oh, I've already got that flower bed thing. Okay. Something over here. There's another one. Yes. Aliens from Elliot. Oh, that's a fancy looking shelf of sorts. Oh, we got. Oh, it's a vent. Uh, I'm scared to go through such tiny little vents. Especially if there's no... Nope, not that. Uh, oh, that's interesting looking. Another run. Cut to access. This better be worth it. Something popped up scannable. Nuclear waste disposal. Oh. Okay, and this looks like maybe one of those things I'd be able to cut. But I've already found that other blueprint, so I may not need this. If that's what's on the other side of this. Hurry up, laser cutter. Need you to cut quicker. I think I... Yeah, that's what's right there. We'll go ahead and scan it. Yep, just turned titanium. Okay. All right, we're getting back out through here. I hope there's not more than one direction to go out of here. Okay. All right. Came through here. Let's pick up my beacon as a lifesaver. For sure. Okay, let's grab you. And right out here. Grab this one, too. Oh man, this place is so massive. I need like an infinite amount of oxygen to try to get through and explore all this. It's so twisty turny. Okay. Let's head back. I think I can get out of here without busting myself all up. Don't hit that fish though. Uh, let's get reconnected. Let's listen to those pods. Are the PDAs that we just found? Oh! That's a tough plant. And that's probably where we're going to have to wrap up this episode. And the next one, which will be starting up right after this one, uh, for me, not for you, obviously. You guys have to let me know, are you liking how fast uh, the playthroughs are coming out now since I've only got, like, the two games going? Are you guys noticing and feeling a difference on that? Oh, I totally missed. I probably shouldn't try to do it this way, but... I'll give it a shot but yeah let me know if you're uh, if you're feeling a difference on that already if you're liking it that sort of thing it's weird for me only having two games going but I am uh, enjoying it oh no reconnect oh I accidentally I thought I hit the entrance but and go in here okay oh look is that a glow whale we got a glow whale right down here 
he's practically swim swimming through my, my uh, stuff. Let's do a sleep real fast so we got more light. Okay, rise and shine. Are you awake, Alan? Okay, yes, we can see much better now. And I got rid of the glow whale. That was kind of freaking me out a little bit. All right, so we got the reactor rod. We got the parallel unit. We will definitely be getting that thing crafted here pretty soon. Um, alien containment. So glad I found that. Nuclear reactor. And then nuclear waste disposal. Very good. Now, uh, accounting of the mercury to crack. Oh, this should be good. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. Stephanos. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever ever felt roared in my ears ripping through the ship people mm. went flying out the side of the mercury so Ooh. much screaming and chaos i was lucky i had just clipped into my seat anchor stephanos came out of nowhere like a malaika an angel i felt his rough calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency it felt like time slowed he said i gotcha just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Good old Stephanos, baby. Making uh what was it? Like a souffle or something like that? What what was it he made? A falafa? I think that's how you pronounce that. Yeah, he made that for her. Man, Stephanos, man, he's the man. I got you. That's right, dude. You work it. Aliens. Alright. Let's see what else we got oh, going on. Man. <laughs> like this, this guy, right? Every xenolinguist dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, <laughs> which means civilization, and civilization means dun -dun -dun -dun, language. Oh, man. <laughs> Now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface. So, I can so he was excited going. at first. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from him so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give him so much more. Hmm. His attitude definitely changed from when he first got here. Okay, let's let's uh, trust my instincts. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. That's what I just said. <laughs> Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Mm. <laughs> this is so cool getting to learn about this. I'm glad I came back here. We found a lot of logs involving Mercury 2. That was super fun. Super, super fun. Well, I'm excited to pick right back up on this in the next episode. So 
I'm gonna hold off doing any more exploring of this ship for now. I'll leave the beacon here because we'll probably come back to it. I, I'm sure I've not found everything in there. I, I wanna get a little better about oxygen. Maybe even wait until I have a prawn suit before I go in there any further. I think I could get around in there, at least parts of it with a prawn suit, but we're gonna try to find that. The flower clippings next, so I can start making the synthetic fibers because we've got a few things that we can create with that. And then we're gonna create that parallel piece, get up there and interact with the, the tower. Those are the things I wanna try to do in the next episode. And I'm excited for it. Hope you guys are too. Until next time, continue to be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.